mitzvahs of the whole year is when you get to dwell in a sukkah. Like you're like living, like like normal, like you eat, you sleep, all these things, you just, you, you live in the sukkah. Now, the interesting thing is, we know that the why we dwell in the sukkahs was because we're commemorating that God built us these shanties, these temporary dwelling places when we were leaving Egypt and going for the 40 years into the desert, right? But the interesting question is, if it's God, right, so why would he have to build us these like flimsy huts? Why can't he build us these big citadels? So the interesting thing is, is that we were just coming out of the Egyptian culture. The Egyptian culture was a culture of just order and might and power and like people were like building these huge structures like the like the pyramids and these big castles and it's like how are you gonna go up against something like that and the answer is god like wiped that stuff out he just he just blew it blew it apart so the goal wasn't that he should try to like have us also build these super impressive structures but he was trying to teach us an important lesson which is that we could live in this world. It wasn't about removing ourselves in the world. It wasn't about detaching ourselves in the world. We have to live in the world, but we don't need big houses and strong armies and all that kind of stuff to do it. Rather, what we need is trust in God. We can be the most happy with bare minimum stuff. And up, and up until a point beyond that, doesn't really make us much happier. So the idea of the sukkah is to go and dwell in that simplicity.